Hello and welcome to episode 6 of Computer Tips and Tricks, the first episode of season 2. I'm pretty excited about this and I'm glad we're finally getting it started. So just to ring in the new season, I'm going to show you something that I do, I need to do a lot, mainly because I'm in school. And it's hard to explain with words, but I'm talking about making a booklet that folds in half. If you've ever done that, you have to have two columns on the page, and then you stack them on top of each other, but when you fold them, the pages aren't in order. Now, I'm going to show you how to make, an e make that easier to do with Word. Actually, Word will print it for you just fine. And what I'm, it's really hard to explain, but basically I'm making a half-page folding book. I have one that I'm working on right here for um, a social studies class, a world geography class, about the Netherlands. And each of these pages is going to be a half page. And then I'm going to stack them all on top of each other, and when I fold them in half, the pages will be fine. So if I numbered them, one, two, three, four, or A, B, C, because it's an alphabet book, it'll be fine. I'll be able to go A, B, C without having to rearrange in the word processing document. So, to start, I'm just looking out the window. It's raining pretty hard here. We're having quite the thunderstorm. So, to start, you have to make a new Word document. So, I'll just make a new one from here. I'm showing you how to do this with 2007. It's the same window in 2003 and earlier, just a different way to get to it. I'm talking about the page setup window. In Word 2003, it's going to be in the file menu with all the print, with print preview and print, and there'll be page setup. In Word 2007, you float your mouse at the side until you get the ruler, and then double click. And this is the window I'm talking about. First thing we're going to do is under Pages, right here, in this drop down menu, change it from Normal to Book Fold. And immediately you'll notice that the preview changes and it changes to Landscape. Gutter. You have to change that to something relatively small. It can't be zero, though. It could be. It doesn't work well. I recommend changing it to a quarter inch, so 0.25. And then you can set your margins however you want. Here, where it says Sheets per Booklet, change it to the rough amount of pages that are in your book. So you'll notice they're all divisible by four. So I have an alphabet book. I have 26 pages plus a title, so I'm going to go about 28, and I'm going to click OK. And you won't really notice any changes. You'll notice that the um, page is a little bit smaller. Let me make it 100% here. Oops. It looks a little bit smaller. There's not a lot of room to type, actually. And go ahead and make your book type in what you need. Even though you can't see them side by side, you'll probably be able to see them side by side. Again, I recorded a very low resolution to do this, these videos. You'll be able to see them side by side. And actually, it does not matter. Well, it does. You just do the pages in the order you want them to come. You don't have to worry about arranging them so when you fold it in half, it'll be right or anything. All you have to do is go through, like I did here, I'm just using this book as an example. My title page, then my A page, my B page, my C page, so on and so forth, all the way to Z, or my bibliography, whatever I'm doing. Okay, and here's where you need to pay attention. When we go to print this, click on the Office button or the File menu, and go to Print, so you get the Print dialog box. Choose your default printer. And then over here, under Find Printer, select Manual Duplex if your printer does not pl print dual-sided automatically. Most of them don't. And then go ahead and click Print. I'm not going to do that right now because it would be a waste of paper. When your document finishes printing, you have to, it, Word will give you a message that says, take all the sheets out and put them back in the printer. Before you do that, you have to reverse the order. So what I'm saying is, if you have four pages, 
it's going to print out two. Or if you have eight, rather, it's going to print out two sheets. You have to flip those sheets and print it and put those in and print. I haven't tried it with a lot of pages, but I'd imagine you, you have to do something similar. It's probably going to be a trial and error no matter what you do. I'd assume you switch every two, but I don't know. You'll have to try that for yourself. I'd recommend doing a test before you print your real thing. So, Anyway, that's how to make a booklet in Word 2003 and earlier. And again, it's a little bit different in 2007, but basically the same idea. Thanks for watching episode 6 of Computer Tips and Tricks, and we look forward to seeing you in the future.